Hello everybody, it's the Raven 425 here, bringing you another video, and today we're going to be doing a QB tier list uh, ranking video, ranking all the NFL quarterbacks uh, in different tiers here. You see elite, borderline elite, above average, average unknown, and below average. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through all the quarterbacks, I guess these are mostly all the starting quarterbacks or projected starters at least, in the NFL. So... Let's get right into it. So the first one we got here is Alex Smith. Um, he's probably never going to play a down again in NFL, but I'm not going to judge him on that. I'm going to judge him what he did in the league. And a lot of people call Alex Smith an average quarterback. I don't think he's average. I think he's above average quarterback. I think he, uh, you know, he, he brought his team to the playoffs in a lot of years. You know, never going to get over the hump, but I, I think he's still an above average quarterback just because, you know, he throws a lot of touchdowns, doesn't make many mistakes, and he's just all around a decent quarterback. Now, Josh Allen, he's only played one year. And I'm hesitant to put any of these for only quarterbacks that have only played a year into a, a tier, but I'm going to do it. Um, see, if I'm judging Josh Allen on what we've seen so far, he's average, right? I think he's eventually going to go into above average and possibly even borderline elite. But for right now, he's just an average quarterback. I mean, he, he's really good on his feet. Uh, he has an excellent arm, but uh, still a lot we can see from him. So he's obviously probably going to move up later i think he's got a bright future baker mayfield um everybody's big on baker mayfield i i think he's just an average quarterback along with josh allen right now i think like him he does have a chance to go above average possibly borderline elite, but i doubt it i don't think his ceiling is quite as high as any of the other quarterbacks in that class and i just think the browns are overhyped i think baker mayfield's overhyped and maybe they can prove me wrong and uh, i think that, i think there's a lot of fans out there like that um, but last year he was average, close to above average, but just average. Now, Ben Roethlisberger, I always hear Ben Roethlisberger being an elite quarterback in the NFL. I'm not a big, um, uh, I hate the Steelers. Actually, I grew up in Pennsylvania. That's so all I heard was good. The Steelers were, um, a lot of people call him elite. I don't think he's elite. I think he's borderline elite. He makes so many mistakes. He throws so many interceptions. He's only won one Super Bowl, even after having a great defense all those years, having a great head coach, having great weapons like Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, so many years. Now he has Juju Smith. He has James Conner. And uh, he's never really gotten anything done other than that one Super Bowl. So I'm going to keep him on borderline elite. He just wakes up way too many mistakes to be considered elite. But he's a very good quarterback. Don't get me wrong. Drew Brees, one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history, is an elite quarterback. Um, actually, I'm going to actually sort these. So like the person that's closer to the, um, kind of like, yeah, to closer to the thing is like better. So like, I think Baker Mayfield is better than Josh Allen, but anyway, Drew Brees, I think he's one of the elite quarterbacks in the NFL. He's had an amazing career. I think this year may be his last year. Uh, he's on, he's not shown signs of, uh, re like going downhill and stuff. And, but he's been an elite quarterback all of his career. Uh, amazing. I wish the Dolphins would have got him. I'm a Dolphins fan. Next up, we got Cam Newton. Uh, Cam Newton had an amazing season in 2015, but outside of that, he really is average. I mean, he's got insane like athleticism. But other than that, is I mean, he throws the ball nice, but I'm hesitant to put him borderline elite. I I will put him there just because I think. I think that MVP season, if you're an MVP in this league, you're a special talent. So I'll put him borderline elite, but he will be all the way to the right, like close to above average. So he will not be, he's not anywhere close to an elite quarterback in the NFL, in my opinion. Derek Carr, um, he had that one good season, but I think he's in a below average quarterback. I don't think uh, the Raiders are going to go anywhere with Derek Carr as a QB. And I, I do think this will be his last year as quarterback of the Raiders. I think he'll be a perennial backup in this league after that. Kirk Cousins, he's an average quarterback in my opinion. Um, he puts out he put out really good stats under Sean McVay's offense. He got a huge contract. But I think he's just an average quarterback. I don't think there's much anything special to him. But average is really hard to find in the NFL. Keep that in mind. So, And he's a very good average quarterback. So he's close to above average. I know a lot of people may be like, well, how are you going to have Alex Smith, Buck, or Cousins? Well, I think Alex Smith is a better quarterback. Jameis Winston, he's below average. He's worse than Derek Carr, in my opinion. Just too many off-the-field issues. He's just He throws way too many interceptions, makes way too many mistakes. Just like Derek Carr, I think this will be Jameis Winston's last season in Tampa. Well, not in, well, probably in Tampa, yeah. 
Uh, but his, this will definitely be his last year as a starting quarterback in the NFL. I think he will go on as a bust at number one and a backup in this league. Dak Prescott, he... Man, Dak Prescott, this one's tough. I think he's an above-average quarterback. I'll put him ahead of Alex Smith, actually. Let's move Alex Smith. I think Dak Prescott, he has an insane running... He's had an insane running back his entire career. One of the best running backs in the league, which has helped him. But he's he's very calm in the pocket. He doesn't make too many mistakes. He keeps his poise. He's a good, you know, fundamental quarterback. And, uh, yeah, he doesn't have any off-the-field issues, and he's a, he's a good quarterback, I think. Above average, he'll get an insane contract from the Cowboys. I have a feeling that will never pan out. I don't think I don't think you're ever going to win a Super Bowl with Dak Prescott, but you're going to get to some playoff games and even win a few. Sam Darnold, I think he probably has the second highest or highest ceiling out of last year's quarterbacks, um, but he was just average last year. Um, and even average is cutting it in hard. I might even put him. I'm going to put him below average. Last year he was below average at best. Well, not at best. He, he, he was average at his best and below average most of the other times. I mean, he made a lot of mistakes. But if he's a first-year quarterback with a defensive coach, now he's got Adam Gaze coming in, and he has a lot of room to move up. You know, Sam Darnold might be below average his rookie year, but he has a chance of being an elite quarterback in this league, in my opinion. I think his ceiling is as high as Josh Allen and maybe just, uh, maybe higher. I don't think Baker Mayfield can ever get as good as potentially Sam Darnold or Josh Allen could. Eli Manning, um, he's an average quarterback. Um, he's been an average quarterback his whole career. He's had a lot of good defenses, and he, he performs well in the playoffs, which uh, has helped his um, view as, like, his career-wise. You know, those two Super Bowl titles will always kind of put him as, like, looking better than what he was. But I think he was an average quarterback in the NFL his entire career, other than those few playoff runs. And even in those, he was above average, you know. He wasn't, like, elite. But, uh, yeah. Ryan Fitzpatrick, he's uh, below average in my opinion. I don't think he's um. I mean, he 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 lights it up for a couple of weeks. Like I say, he's Fitz magic, and then turns into Fitz tragic. And I like how everybody here has like a picture of them, like semi like throwing the football. Him is just him in his fucking weird outfit. Oh, language. Um, but yeah, I think he's just a below average quarterback. He never really has done anything in this league. I mean, he, he has good games, but he's oh, he's a backup quarterback, right? So I'm actually going to put Sam Dartle ahead of him. He's a backup quarterback. Nick Foles. I'm going to put him above average. Put him ahead of Alex Smith. I think he's a good quarterback. He uh, is obviously insane in the playoffs. He has the clutch gene for sure. I'm still hesitant about what, how good he'll be with the Jaguars. I mean, he, he had the chance of being the Eagles starting quarterback one season and just didn't really do it too much with it. And kind of, I mean, other than that one year, he did really good. Uh, those years after that, he kind of struggled. And then, of course, replacing Carson Wentz in the playoffs, he was insane. One Super Bowl MVP. So he's definitely an above average quarterback. Jared Goff, he's an above average quarterback as well. Um, he, he he benefits, of course, from being in a Sean McVay offense, just like Kirk Cousins did. But I think he's better than Kirk Cousins. I think he has a lot more potential than Kirk Cousins ever did. That's why he was the first pick in the draft, and Kirk Cousins was a second round, I believe. Um, I think he's better than Kirk Cousins is right now. I mean, he led his team to the Super Bowl, which isn't, you know, you got to have a good quarterback to go to the Super Bowl um, in today's NFL. But like I said, he benefits from Sean McVay, so he has a chance of moving up. But I think right now he's just above average. Matt Ryan, he's a borderline elite quarterback. Put him ahead of Ben. And do I want to put? Yeah, I'll put him ahead of Ben. Um, he won MVP in 2016. He's uh, kept the Car- Cardinals relevant his entire career, even though they've had some of the worst defenses in the league. He led them to Super Bowl. Should have been a Super Bowl victory. They choked. I I blame everyone on the team, especially some of the coaching decisions late in the game. But he's kept the, the Falcons as a relevant team in this league. And before he came there, they really weren't. Um, and when they when he leaves, they probably won't be. So, but you know, every year that you have people talking about you know Super Bowl contender, Falcons are usually there, and I think it's because of Matt Ryan. Jimmy Garoppolo, um, I'm gonna put him as average behind Kirk Cousins. Uh, we haven't just haven't seen enough of him. Yeah, I mean, I know he did really good with the Patriots, and he did. He's, he did some good things with the 49ers, but, I mean, he got hurt. We don't really know. He's had, like, 
I think 10 starts in his entire career. So I don't think just he's, he's, I mean, he's with Baker Mayfield and Josh Allen. Honestly, we just haven't seen enough to put him in above categories. Joe Flacco, he's, uh, he's average. I think he, do I put him ahead of Kirk? I don't think I put him ahead of Kirk Cousins, honestly. He's an average quarterback. In 2012, he did win Super Bowl, but that was because he had one of the best defenses in an, in the NFL. He's had a good defense in the NFL his entire career, usually. He's had a really good coach in John Harbaugh. And other than that Super Bowl win, he hasn't really done too much. I mean, he's led the team to some playoff wins and you know a lot of playoff berths, but I think it was a lot more to do than just Joe Flacco, and I, th- I put him as an average quarterback in the NFL. In case Keenum, he's a below-average quarterback. Um He's a backup in the league. He had a really good year at the Vikings, but that was more than just his doing. Goes to the Broncos last year. Isn't very good. Now he's on the Redskins. He might earn the starting job, but he's a backup in the league. Lamar Jackson is an average quarterback. I don't think his ceiling's very hot at all. I think once you take the way the RPOs that they were doing last year, but that's what really made their, their offense special, and I don't think they'd be doing as much of that to keep him healthy. I don't think he's just enough there as a passer. He might be able to work into above average in his career, but he'll never be borderline elite or elite, in my opinion. I think he's going to you know, hover around above average average. I think they replaced Joe Flacco with someone who can't surpass what Joe Flacco did, honestly, which is unfortunate. Philip, although he is much more athletic than Joe Flacco, Joe Flacco can't do anything athletically. Phil Rivers, he's a borderline elite quarterback. Um, he's led the Chargers, you know, to a few playoff bursts, not many playoff victories. He'll never lead them to a Super Bowl. I, I mean, I'm confident in saying that. I'll be surprised. I mean, I won't be surprised to make the playoffs, but it's going to be hard for him to make the playoffs this year. They're going to have a harder schedule, and it's just hard to be consistent in the NFL. And. I just don't think he will ever do that. And he's, you know, he's had a good career, no doubt. He may be a Hall of Famer one day, but he's never really separated himself to be an elite quarterback, in my opinion. Andrew Luck is an elite quarterback in the NFL. When the Colts don't have Andrew Luck, they're awful. When the Colts have Andrew Luck, they're playoff contenders. And this year, I think they'll be a Super Bowl contender. Now they're getting that defense built up. They're getting some more, you know, weapons on offense. The offensive line is great for the Colts. And I think, you know, what separates elite quarterbacks and non-elite quarterbacks is what difference they make to the team. And without the Colts, or without Andrew Luck, the Colts are picking top five in the draft. With him, they're picking in the 20s, maybe even 30s, depending on what happens. Andrew Luck's an elite quarterback. He, he, he lifts his team to another level. Marcus Mariota, he's below average. Um, Marcus Mariota's never, he's had a couple good years in the NFL good in quotations. I mean, he's never led the Titans to the playoffs. Or, yeah, he did. That's my mistake. He did lead the Titans to the playoffs. They even won a playoff game against the the, the Alex Smith Chiefs that could never win. And, um, but, man, he's, he's a playmaker. He can make some plays, but he's never healthy. He makes a lot of interceptions. His, like, touchdown-interception ratio isn't that great. Um, so that's why I put him below average. Mitchell Trubisky, I think, is also average very average i don't think he'll ever be above average he's just not a special quarterback in the league the the the, um the bears taking him with the second pick was just dumb i mean they could i mean looking i mean i know hindsight 2020 but you had patrick mahomes there and you take in deshaun watson honestly and you take him he'll be an average quarterback in the league i think he'll be the starter for the bears for a while and he may lead them to the playoffs a few more times, but the Bears will never be a Super Bowl team with Mitch Trubisky behind their uh, behind center. It's just I hate to say it. Patrick Mahomes, I know he's only played one year, but he's an elite quarterback. Uh, I think he'll regress this year a bit because you know the numbers he put up last year were just insane. You can't keep that consistently going in the NFL. It just doesn't happen. But he will he's an elite quarterback. I mean, he's just an insane talent. And the Chiefs are gonna be really good for a very long time now that they have him at a quarterback position. I mean, it's just it's just what it is, you know? Once you find that quarterback, you can be very good for a very long time. You can be relevant every single year. But I'm has I'm not gonna put him above Andrew Luck or Drew Brees just yet, because you know he's only played a year. But he was MVP. He's insane. 
Uh, Andy Dalton. He's average. I put him above Joe Flacco and all these guys. Andy Dalton's had a weird career. He's led the Bengals to multiple playoff berths, but he's never um. Excuse me. He's never um won a playoff game. I mean, you have when you have Marvin Lewis as your coach for so many years, it's kind of hard. But I just don't see um Andy Dalton as above average. I mean, I really don't. I think he's just an average quarterback who uh who isn't bad at all. Like it's it's respectable to have Andy Dalton as your quarterback because it's very hard to find anyone who's better than him. Russell Wilson, he's an elite quarterback. Um, put him right there. Russell Wilson keeps the Seahawks relevant every single year. He's just an insane quarterback. I mean, third round to get hit your franchise quarterback like that. I mean, he's so athletic. He can escape the pass. He can run the ball if he has to. He can throw bombs. He can. He's super accurate. Doesn't make mistakes. He's a team leader. I mean, there's not much more that you could want in a quarterback than you get a Russell Wilson. Aaron Rodgers is, is is another elite quarterback. I think he's the, the the greatest quarterback, just basically quarterback in any of these. He's the most talented of any of them. I mean, when Aaron Rod, just having Aaron Rodgers on your team, you have a chance of winning the Super Bowl. As simple as that. Um, I think the Packers will be in the playoffs again just because of him. I think if they can get you know a little bit of help on defense and some more weapons, that they could be a Super Bowl champion just because Aaron Rodgers, if he can stay healthy, if he can stay healthy a full year. The, J- the Packers are a Super Bowl contender, right? And they don't really have that great of a roster. That's why I think Aaron Rodgers is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Josh Rosen, it's just I mean, I'm a Dolphins fan, so I have high hopes for Josh Rosen, but just based on what we saw last year, yeah, below average. He was the worst in the league last year. Um, but I have high hopes. You know, Josh Rosen can definitely bounce up, unlike some of these guys. Josh Rosen definitely has the potential to bounce up, you know. Nah, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> Matthew Stafford, I don't think he's an average quarterback. I think he's above average. I mean, when the Lions didn't have Matthew Stafford, they were the worst team in the league. Browns level, I'm talking. With Matthew Stafford, they've made the playoffs. They're a contender. You know, they, they compete every week, week in and week out. And he puts up insane numbers. Insane numbers. If that team had a good defense, man, they'd be going to the playoffs a lot more. But I still don't think you're going to win a Super Bowl with Matthew Stafford as your quarterback. Ryan Tannehill is the epitome of an average quarterback. He's about as average as average gets. Uh, you're not going to do anything with Ryan Tannehill. You're going to go about 8-8 eight and eight every year you got Ryan Tannehill. Um, notice that I put Ryan Tannehill above Marcus Mariota. I think Ryan Tannehill is a better quarterback than Marcus Mariota. He'll start the season behind Marcus Mariota, and he'll finish above in front of him. I guarantee you that. Mark my words. Tom Brady is the best quarterback in the NFL, arguably the best quarterback in NFL history. He has orchestrated one of the greatest dynasties in NFL history for sure. He won the Super Bowl last year. Uh, I know he's had an amazing coach all those years. I know they've had scandals. I know all this, but he's still the best quarterback. I've watched him slaughter our team, pick apart our team two weeks every year for, since I've been a fan of the NFL. And uh, that's all I really needed to see to know that. Tom Brady's the best quarterback in the NFL. And I've been, you know, lucky enough to be able to watch his career. And, you know, when he's going, I'm going to be happy because, you know, but the NFL will be missing out on one of its best players ever. I think Deshaun Watson, eh, Deshaun Watson is an above average quarterback. I think he's better than Kirk Cousins. I think he's worse than Matthew Stafford right now, but I think he will surpass Matthew Stafford. I mean, you know, if Deshaun can stay healthy, he's an insane athlete. He's an insane leader. And he makes really good throws. And I think the Texans have their franchise quarterback in Deshaun Watson easily. Carson Wentz is borderline elite. He's He, uh, he was an MVP candidate before he got hurt. Um, you know, the Eagles, I think, are a Super Bowl contender this year. And I think he will have something to prove to say that, you know, I'm better than Nick Foles. Just because Nick Foles got to lead my team every single year in the playoffs, I'm the one who got him there. You know, I'm the one that went 13 and I think they went 13 and three that year, you know, and all that stuff. So I think he has something to prove. And for all these guys, these are unknown. Um, Twain Haskins. I think he'll be 
I think he'll be good. I think he'll be an above average quarterback. I think he has a really good accuracy. I think he's got awesome arm talent. I think he's just a good quarterback in this. He'll be a good quarterback in this league. Drew Locke is unknown, obviously, but I think he'll be a backup. Uh, he went a lot of teams passed up on him for a reason. That's why he went in the second round. If he was the talent that people thought he was, he would have went earlier. Kyler Murray, unknown as well. I think he'll be better than Julian Haskins. I think he'll be better than Drew Locke. Um, he's, he's an insane athlete. If he can stay healthy. The Cardinals can do a lot of things. Kyler Murray is an insane athlete. He'll be all over the field. Uh, he won't be playing until he's 40, that's for sure. But the yeah, Cardinals are going to get 13, 14 good years out of Kyler Murray. I see that. I think Daniel Jones will have a better career than Drew Locke. I think he'll be worse than Wayne Haskins. All this Daniel Jones hate is just uncalled for. I think he's a, a decent quarterback. He'll be a decent quarterback. Uh, he was a sixth pick, for, sixth pick for a reason. I think if... He did not get pick six. He would have been a first-round pick for sure. Um, but, yeah. So that's my tier list. Let me know what you guys think. What would you have switched around? What do you think was my most mind-boggling? Which one do you most agree with? And if you guys are looking for more you know, Miami Dolphins videos or NFL videos in general, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, thank you for watching, and have a good one.